I do think that evil and suffering in the world is dealt with by human beings and sometimes people deal with it very well. I mean, look at Manchester, um, you know, after after all of the stuff that happened up there recently um, with the terrorism, you know, coming together to really support one another at times of great uh, trouble. And I see that within many different communities. I see that within my own humanist community and I see that within uh, Muslim and Christian and, and Jewish communities and Hindu communities, you know, so I, I do think people come together at times of great trouble mm. and I don't see mm. God in that. I see mm. humanity mm. Um, and mm. I think the problem is when we try to place God into that mm. system, into that way of living, that we become too reliant on asking well, why did God do this? Or why didn't God mm. do this? And actually what we're mm. saying, we should be asking is, how can we change this ourselves mm. as human mm. beings? Who is it? Mm. And I'm sure as a scientist yourself, you know, this is something, you know, yeah. probably the reason you went into science is is to try and achieve, the, you know, to uh, fix the how. Yeah, you know? and at one level, it sounds mm. rather like, Sharon, that, that Hannah's saying in, in, the, in the end, you know, deciding that there wasn't a God um, mm. made more sense of, the fact of suffering mm. you know it just mm. is what it is yeah. we live in you know a, a world a universe where mm. bad things happen and there's no yeah. rhyme or reason particularly but the only way they get better is through through humans we don't have to kind of turn to god mm. um so why for you does mm. do, do you not find a kind of an atheistic mm. or humanistic let's say outlook satisfactory in it as yeah. a response to suffering i guess when it comes down to it that if god doesn't exist then we live in a closed system of uh, physical forces and electrons and atoms and molecules and chance occurrences and this is simply the way the world is mm -hmm. um, people do what they do because they're driven by their bodies and, and brains um, the world the natural world does what it does because uh it, you know, because of the geophysics and, and everything else. But there's no point asking why or there's no uh, real reason to say that there's anything wrong. There's, this is simply the way the world is. But I find that, that that might work on an intellectual level, but I don't seem to be able to marry that with my experience of the world. When I see, when I hear of things happening in developing countries, there's something in me that gets angry. Mm. And I get angry, but it's as almost as though my instinct is this is wrong. There's something wrong with the world, and 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 it's it not creates. The way it a, should be. It's not the That's, way it should be, and yeah. it creates a longing. Well, what way should it be then? Mm. Mm. Um, and actually, I find that um, well, atheism doesn't give me a satisfactory answer to that. Sure. The Christian faith says that. Um, Good exists, this capacity for goodness exists because an objective standard of good exists. He's known as God, a being who doesn't lie, who is utterly trustworthy, who um, gives humans dignity and meaning.